What's going on folks? Hobo Handliner here. It's the weekend and I have some absolutely ginormous sized night crawlers. Um, we had a thunderstorm roll in about an hour ago, cooled the weather off a little bit. We got a little breeze, it's a little cloudy, the water's a little bit cooler, which is good because we've been having back to back 90 degree plus days. So let me show you the size of one of these big hogs I'm working with here. Just a massive half inch thick worm. I got two dozen of them, guys. I mean, can you hear the thunder? I don't know if you could hear that. Anyways, big, healthy, feisty night crawlers. So we're going for bigger fish today. Bass, catfish, that's my two main priorities. So let's throw them under a float rig with the um, number two size mosquito circle hooks, my favorite hook lately. Let's see what kind of big chunky fish we can get. I'll see you after the intro. First bass of the night, he got off the hook. But we got him, we got him up to the bank. Just a little guy. Not what we're after with these big worms, not at all. Also I'm tangled up in my line now. Come on. Jeez, I really, there we go, anyways. First little guy of the night. Eh, we ain't even gonna bother taking a picture of him. He's so small. Let's just let him go, guys. And let's keep fishing. Okay guys, after many lost hook sets and many lost fish that you guys are not gonna see on camera because I was getting pretty frustrated. Got myself a pretty darn all right bass, especially for here. It's uh, easily a one pounder. Yeah, one pound bass. Man, I put in the time, like, Two thirds of my bait is gone already too. Calm down. There's bluegill tearing up my bait and then I would get the hook started to be set into a fish, fight him for a second, then he'd pop off. Finally got a good hook set in a nice sized bass. Get a picture of him and we'll chuck him back. All right guys, we got our picture. Finally got a hook buried up in the up in the top part of the mouth. Actually, we're gonna need my Leatherman tool to pull this hook out. He's really hooked, which is good. We weren't gonna lose him, but holy cow. Took long enough to get a good hook set today, which is weird. Usually these circle hooks, I'm, I'm smoking them. Yeah, that's a nice little one pounder there. One of the bigger ones for this spot. Off he goes. On to fight another day, let's catch another one. Well, 
caught one of the bait stealers beautiful decent sized pumpkin seed not what I'm after but a very pretty fish those little pesky guys though harassing my bait I just want to catch something bigger but that's a pretty fish I've got lots of pictures of pumpkin seeds this size, so we'll just let them go. But pretty, pretty decent size for a pumpkin seed for sure. Let's keep going, try to get something bigger. very next cast the worm freaking hit the water and I had a fish on didn't even lose my worm which is pretty cool we won't need a picture of this guy because it's just a little baby little baby bass but that's the kind of hooks that I want look at that through the whole lip nice fish number four it's getting darker the fish obviously they're coming out when it's not quite as hot. This is kind of the time of day I was expecting to start catching them. I'm just uh, bummed out I lost so many of my worms in the first uh, first hour today. But I got enough to finish up the night, so let's keep fishing. There's a good bass. Wasn't losing him, got a good hook set on him. Reel up my slack. I'm doing the old fashioned way of just dragging them onto the bank that I used to when I first started YouTube. Back when I was so afraid to lose a fish that I didn't know how to reel it properly. <laughs> nice. Got another, another nice one pounder here. fish nice dark color not the same fish I hooked earlier I thought it might have been it's about the same size but yeah good nonetheless second uh, bigger fish of the day let's get a photo and let them go see if we can get any more uh, this size or bigger all right guys we got our picture Gonna get the hook out of this guy. There we go. Nice fish. Let's let him go. What's that? Five fish now? Four bass and a pumpkin seed? Not bad. Definitely making a comeback. And two of decent size. So let's keep going. It's that uh, perfect time of day. So let's see what else wants to bite. Hooked into a fish, eight pound line snapped. <sighs> That's a bummer. I put my leader line about three and a half foot deep and hooked into something. It came up to the surface after I hooked it because I got my hook in it and it was about that big. I don't know if it was a bullhead catfish or what, but nothing we can do but tie on another float and uh, use the rest of my bait.
species number three. A nice little yellow perch. Nice, let's get a picture of him and then let's keep going. One pounders today, man. The bite's picking up and they're down deep. Another nice one. Let's get another picture. Let's make it quick before we run out of light. Got that hook out, guys. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Nice, big old rock bass. Almost too dark to see guys, but I'm gonna keep going because the fish are fired up. I'll get a picture which will be in flash. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. It'll be a new kind of video for me, ultra dark fishing, right? Nice rock bass, one of my biggest ever. There he is guys. Just trying to find the hook in the dark, it's so so hard for me to see right now. Let's keep going though. All right, guys. Well, it got far too dark for me to see. I could not see my bobber going under, feel the bites. I mean, I just had no visual. Um, so unless someday in the future I get some kind of like camp lantern or something where I have a little bit of light, um, night fishing is going to be a little tough. Um, so just end on that rock bass, call it a day. Um, I lost some big, big fish, guys, I'm not gonna lie, off camera. Um, one felt like at least a three pounder, which would have been my new best. Oh well, it could be that that little bitty circle hook just didn't have a big enough bite um, inside his mouth, who knows. Uh, one of these days though, I'm gonna nail something truly, truly big in the um, bass family. So that's uh, something to look forward to. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Um, I know there towards the end it was a little hard to see. I apologize. I was trying something new. But yeah, I'm going to get my booty home and um, get cleaned up, edit this up for you guys. So until next time, guys, I'm the Hobo Handliner, signing off.